began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished. They said, Where did this man get all this? What, what kind of wisdom has been given him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his name? He is not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James, and the brother of James, and Joseph, and Judas, and Simon? Are not there his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place. So he was not able to perform any mighty, and among his own kin, and, his, and in his own house. So he was not able to perform any mighty deed there, apart from curing a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. I will focus this uh, brief reflection on the gospel, but I will ask you and your house and your personal prayer uh, read the first, uh, the first reading today, the letter to the Hebrews is beautiful. How the people of God see suffering, pain, and hardships in life, but a very, very uh, different perspective that some of us do it. You know, they see it as a discipline. God disciplines those who he loves. Which means God. I would like to focus my reflection on the gospel today. You know, today Jesus has been in, uh, in Galilee preaching, performing miracles. Uh, many people were uh, amazed at what Jesus said and did. Now he returns to his own place, Nazareth, and he entered into the synagogue. You know, what, what was the expectation of Jesus? You know, I was thinking about Jesus. People knew pretty much that uh, Jesus, was, what, he, what he was doing. Well, I, I, I believe that Jesus was expecting his people to receive him. Many Gentiles, many other people who were rejected by the Jews accepted the message of Jesus. They were very close with Jesus as they saw the miracles, as they heard the preaching of Jesus. But now, now the people... The, their own Jews, their own uh, people of, of, of Jesus, he comes to them. And what happened? Jesus comes into the synagogue, as um, uh, he used to do it on, on Sabbath day. He come, and he, and he began to preach, he wanted to speak, and, and the people were amazed at the beginning. They were amazed at the beginning, you know, so, I, don't know. I mean, Jesus is speaking this way, um, what a wonderful wisdom what a wonderful way he speaks about, and what a confidence, and in a very different way. But suddenly, they too now, they began to say, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is he not Jesus? He's not the one he grew up with us? I mean, we know him. We know him. Yes, a, a couple of months he went away, and now he returns with, with all this. I mean, come on. And, 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 they, and their way say, well... You know, they forgot the, the first part. They were amazed at Jesus. They were, uh, 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 yeah, I mean, uh, amazed uh, what Jesus said, that the, the wisdom he had, the way he speak about God, the way he speak about the kingdom of God, the way he could understood uh, the scriptures. But they forgot this and focus on the other thing, prejudices. You know, prejudices, how harm, harmful are in our lives. Prejudice. Sometimes we label people. Sometimes we say, this, is, this person is this way. Oh, I know him, I know her. I mean, um, come on, come on, I know you. Don't, don't tell me this, don't tell me that. I know you, and we label people. And we are not able to discover the goodness that the Lord presents to us through certain people. Because God comes to us in a very different way. We, can, we, cannot, we cannot put God in a, in, a, in a this box and say, God, you have to behave and say things only like this, in the way we, we want you to say or to do. We cannot do that to God. God is totally free, and he can act in, 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 in many ways. He can speak to us in a, in, in, uh, through the most sinful person to us. In the same way that the, that the devil sometimes speaks through us, 
to the most holy people as well. You may remember in the gospel, Peter, you know, Jesus told, Jesus, uh, Peter told, uh, Jesus, uh, Jesus told his disciples, uh, you know, I, I want to be crucified. They will kill me. But on the third day, I will raise. And Peter took Jesus and said, come on, come on, Jesus. I just told you that you are the son of God. You are the Messiah. I mean, you cannot die in this way. You have to be powerful. And Jesus uh, turns to Peter and say, get behind me, Satan. You know, we have to have the ability to discover the presence of Jesus. And we have to discover our prejudices we have um, uh, uh, about other people. You know, not because language, not because color, not because race, not anything. The presence of God comes to us in many ways, and we have to purify this. It's a very difficult because sometimes we grew up with this, and we think this way. But if, if the, Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit speaks to us, it's because He wants to make a new person of us, or to be purifying us from whatever leads us, uh, keeps us away from the kingdom of God. Prejudices, so a good thing to do, to reflect about what are my prejudices ab uh, about my relatives, about my friends, about people this, people that, whatever. And then purify them and try to see them in the way God sees us. You know, with love, embracing everybody, preaching to everybody, uh, receiving everybody thinking well of everybody. Una de las cosas que el Evangelio nos presenta ahora, cuando Jesús regresa de andar predicando por todos lados, regresa a su pueblo, a Nazaret, y entra a la sinagoga, y empieza a hablar y toda la gente está maravillada de la manera que habla Jesús. Una, una, una sabiduría que, que el, los fariseos, los escribas no tienen. Y estaban de veras admirados de, de cómo Jesús enseñaba y podía descubrir la palabra de Dios, escudriñar la palabra de Dios y explicarla. Pero luego se dieron cuenta de que ese Jesús es el que había crecido con ellos. Casi 30 años estuvo con ellos. Lo vieron crecer, conocían a, su, a José, a María, a sus hermanos, es decir, sus parientes, en, ese, en el contexto, sus parientes, sus primos hermanos, que estaban allí, los conocemos, te conocemos Jesús. No nos digas ahora que vienes así de, de otra manera. Y se olvidan de la primera parte, de aquella eh, sabiduría especial de Dios que lleva Jesús por enfocarse en los prejuicios. Y los prejuicios hacen mucho daño en la vida. ¿Cuáles son los prejuicios? Nosotros decimos cuando nosotros etiquetamos a las personas. ¿Qué es etiquetar? Nosotros decimos tú eres así y yo ya te conozco y tú no cambias. Yo ya sé quién eres y te pongo una etiqueta. Tú eres mentiroso, tú siempre llegas tarde, tú siempre esto, tú siempre aquello, siempre aquello. Y ponemos prejuicios en, en, en nosotros. A veces crecimos con esos prejuicios. A veces crecimos por nuestra familia, hay muchos prejuicios. Rechazamos a ciertas personas por su color, por su lengua, por eh, su apariencia, uh, su manera de ser. Y los traemos bien grabados esos prejuicios. Y si nosotros no nos damos cuenta por medio del Espíritu Santo de esos prejuicios, esos van a ser un gran obstáculo para que nosotros experimentemos el reino de Dios entre nosotros. Podemos ser buenos para unas cosas, pero hay obstáculos para otras cosas. Y el Evangelio de hoy nos viene a hablar de eso. Vamos a purificar nuestros prejuicios. Vamos a descubrirlos, vamos a pedirle al Espíritu Santo que nos conceda la gracia de saber descubrir nuestros prejuicios con mucha veracidad y reconocerlos con mucha humildad. ¿Para qué? Para alinearnos al reino de Dios, para participar, exper experimentar el reino de Dios. Porque Pues para eso vino Jesús. Jesús nos entregó por nada. Es para que nosotros tengamos vida y la tengamos en abundancia. May the Holy Spirit help us with that wisdom to understand the gospel today and to find our prejudices and ask the Holy Spirit to give us the wisdom we need to take away all these prejudices and help us to experience the kingdom of God. With trust in the Lord's goodness, let us present to him our petitions for ourselves and for the world. That the church may be emboldened by God in spreading her message of salvation to the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. 
para que el Espíritu Santo guíe a todas las personas y naciones por el camino que conduce a la justicia y la paz, especialmente en el Medio Oriente y Europa, Europa Oriental. Roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, óyenos. That the Lord may console all who are mourning the loss of a loved one. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Para que la gracia de los sacramentos produzca abundantes frutos en esta comunidad de fe, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, óyenos. That God may joyfully welcome into the light of his presence all who have gone before us in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. Por las intenciones especiales de esta misa, Oscar Flores, Adolfo Carrasco, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, rogamos óyenos. óyenos. Y por todas las intenciones que guardamos en el silencio de nuestros corazones, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, rogamos óyenos. óyenos. Lord God, hear these prayers we have brought before you and answer them in accordance with your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Vino y paz, danos hoy, se transformarán en Dios. Vino y paz, danos hoy, se transformarán. Hacemos Padre eterno de la tierra nuestro don Para que no los conviertas en tu Hijo el Salvador Te ofrecemos Padre eterno de la tierra nuestro don Para que nos los conviertas en tu Hijo Salvador Vino y pan, danos hoy Se transformará de este pueblo la ponemos con amor junto al cáliz y las hostias en señal de adoración toda el alma de este pueblo la ponemos con amor junto al cáliz y las hostias en señal de adoración vino y pan danos hoy se transformarán en Dios Vino y pan, danos hoy, se transformarán en Dios. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we prepare to offer the sacrifice of praise, O Holy Father, we humbly ask to be sustained in our service by the prayers of Saint Joseph, whom you called to watch like a father on earth over your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and in our in Saint Joseph to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as a spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adored, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Osana in the highest. Santo eres en verdad, Señor, fuente de toda santidad. Por eso te pedimos que santifiques estos dones con la efusión de tu Espíritu, de manera que se conviertan para nosotros en el cuerpo y la sangre de Jesucristo nuestro Señor. El cual, cuando iba a ser entregado a su pasión voluntariamente aceptada, tomó pan. Dándote gracias, lo partió y lo dio a sus discípulos diciendo, Tomen y coman todos de él, porque esto es mi cuerpo que será entregado por ustedes. Del mismo modo, acabada la cena, tomó el cáliz y dándote gracias de nuevo, lo pasó a sus discípulos diciendo, tomen y beban todos de él, porque este es el cáliz de mi sangre, sangre de la alianza nueva y eterna, que será derramada por ustedes y por muchos para el perdón de los pecados. Hagan esto en conmemoración mía. Este es el sacramento de nuestra fe. Anunciamos tu muerte, proclamamos tu resurrección. Ven, Señor Jesús. Así pues, Padre, al celebrar ahora el memorial de la muerte y resurrección de tu Hijo, te ofrecemos el pan de vida y el cáliz de salvación, y te damos gracias porque nos haces dignos de servirte en tu presencia. Te pedimos humildemente que el Espíritu Santo congregue en la unidad a cuantos participamos del cuerpo y la sangre de Cristo. Acuérdate, Señor, de tu iglesia extendida por toda la tierra, y con el Papa Francisco, con nuestro obispo Gustavo, sus obispos auxiliares, y todos los pastores que cuidan de tu pueblo, llévala a su perfección por la caridad. También acuérdate de nuestros hermanos que se durmieron en la esperanza de la resurrección, y de todos los que han muerto en tu misericordia, admítelos a contemplar la luz de tu rostro. Ten misericordia de todos nosotros. Y así con María la Virgen, Madre de Dios, su esposo San José, los apóstoles, San Lucas y cuantos vivieron en tu amistad a través de los tiempos, merezcamos por tu Hijo Jesucristo compartir la vida eterna y cantar tus alabanzas. Por Cristo con Él y en Él. A ti, Dios Padre Omnipotente, en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, todo honor y toda gloria por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gradually grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Ofrezcanse unos a otros una señal de la paz. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Bless God. Jesus Christ, be with us. Que voluntad del Padre, comando el Espíritu Santo. Viste con tu muerte la vida al mundo. Líbrame por la recepción de tu cuerpo y de tu sangre. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Comunión espiritual, creo Jesús mío que estás real y verdaderamente en el cielo y en el santísimo sacramento del altar. Te amo sobre todas las cosas y deseo vivamente recibirte dentro de mi alma, pero no pudiendo hacerlo ahora sacramentalmente, ven al menos espiritualmente a mi corazón y como si ya te hubiese recibido, te abrazo y me uno del todo a ti. Señor, no permitas que jamás me aparte de ti. Los hombres amo Dios como a nadie amo jamás Para la gente del pueblo es el hijo de José Con sus manos trabajó como hacían los demás Conoció los sufrimientos y el dolor Es mi cuerpo tomar y comer Es mi sangre tomar y beber porque yo soy vida, yo soy amor, hoy Señor nos reuniremos en tu amor. A los hombres amo Dios, como a nadie amo jamás, y su amor tan grande fue que lo condujo a la cruz, 
pero más pudo el amor que la muerte y el dolor. Vencedor tres días después resucitó. Es mi cuerpo, toma de comer. Es mi sangre, toma de beber. Porque yo soy vida, yo soy amor. Hoy, Señor, nos reuniremos en tu amor. A los hombres amo Dios como a nadie amo jamás. En la cruz el Salvador su propia vida nos dio. Y toda la humanidad es el cuerpo del Señor. Nada puede separarnos de su amor. Es mi cuerpo, toma y comer. Es mi sangre, toma y beber, porque yo soy vida, yo soy amor. Hoy, Señor, nos reuniremos en tu amor. Oh, Señor, nos reuniremos en tu amor. Hoy, Señor, nos reuniremos en tu amor. Oremos. Restored by these life-giving sacraments, Lord, may we live for you always in justice and holiness, helped by the example and intercession of St. Joseph, who in carrying out your great mysteries served, uh, served you as a man just and obedient. Through Christ our Lord. El Señor esté con ustedes. Y con tu espíritu. La bendición de Dios Todopoderoso, Padre, Hijo y Espíritu Santo, descienda sobre ustedes y permanezca para siempre. Amén. Esta celebración ha terminado. Vayan en paz. Demos gracias a Dios. Let us pray to San Michael. San Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. We are protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. Do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits prowling around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. <laughs>